feeding. Lo and behold, Jelly's waiting for us at the fence. And Deli. Yes, and Deli. Out there a little further. If you've wondered why some of our cows have names and some of them don't, I think I explained in one of the earlier videos that, uh, I think I explained in one of the earlier videos that, uh, we've got nurse cows, and the nurse cows are the cows that we bring in after they calve, and they'll raise three to four calves at a time, usually. Now there's, uh, I can't remember right offhand, but I think there's like 15 or 20 of these nurse cows, and so each one of those nurse cows has names. The other thing you might have noticed if you've watched any of my videos is some cows have blue tags, and some tag cows have yellow tags, and some cows have white tags. Anything with a blue tag is a nurse cow. And that's a cow that gets hand treatment and really gets uh, watched over real careful. And anything with a yellow tag is a, is a cow that used to be a nurse cow previously. And, uh, well, let me qualify that. Anything with a yellow tag that's got a name on it used to be a nurse cow. Now all of the cows with the yellow tags are the cows that belong to us and all of the cows with the white tags are cows that are taken care of on uh, a partnership deal. So we'll get to see those here in a second. Doesn't look like there's anything down bedding there. They all look pretty good but they're all pretty awful close to calving. So we gotta start watching for uh, cows that are looking like they're gonna calve any minute here should be uh, within a week or so we start start seeing some calves. But we'll get some videos up of that when that happens. Oh, there's Trudy Triplets at the top of the hill there. <laughs> you didn't catch my other video of it. Trudy Triplets is the cow that looks like she's going to have every calf she ever had in her whole entire life all at once. <laughs> That's true. Wow, they really got over there. There's the other cows. Now we gotta wait for all those cows to come in before we can put out grain. And the reason behind that is that we're putting out a pretty heavy ration of barley. And when you put out a lot of barley, you got to be careful how much the cows get, or else they uh, could bloat. So uh, when the cows' gases build up in the stomach, and and then they bloat up because a cow cannot fart or burp, and then you have to take them in the chute and you either stick them in the side with a knife, and uh, to get the gases out, or you shove a rubber hose down their throat to uh, get the gases out. And then you give them a cocktail that's something close to Pepto Bismol. In fact, Pepto Bismol will work in a pinch. But I'm sure that's more information than anybody ever really wanted to know. So we're just going to wait for the cows to come in. Here we got Amy. As you can see, like I said earlier, the blue tag with the name on it, and that designates her as a nurse cow. We got Wanda here. There's a yellow tag with just a number on it, and that means that's one of our own cows. And there's a yellow tag with a name on it, Beth. And that means that she was previously a nurse cow. And there's the white tags. And those are the cows that are on a partnership deal. Deli. And you can see these guys, they're pretty friendly. This here is Deli. Deli's a nice cow, but she's hungry apparently. <laughs> they're always hungry, especially when they're pregnant. See, if the cows are with Deli, see, and there's the other cows. They're coming. We're still waiting on them. Until they get here though, we'll just look at some of these cows. <laughs> uh, Deli's being a sweetheart there. Here they come. So we'll just drop down the chute here. And 
man. It's just as simple as pulling the lever back into four low. We put it in first gear and then we use that timer there on the dash to time it out. And we will put out green for four and a half minutes. There's the cows lining up for feed. Coming in. There's always a cow that sits up towards the front of the pack that'll that'll uh, be always up with the feed, you know, never wants to get the old stuff. Uh, the grass is always greener, that type of thing. There, I got turned around. We can get a better view of the cows coming in now. And each cow has a different personality. It's amazing from cow to cow how much their personalities will change. I guess it's just one of those things that you almost got to be there and be dealing with them to know it. Because you'll get to know almost each and every cow. There's just a little over 150 head out here and you can tell just about each and every single one apart just by how they come up to the feed line or how they stay with the other cows or, or don't for that matter. Things like that. Cows are still coming in. 